Hi everybody. In this video, we are going to be playing and manipulating some live instrumental audio in Sonic Pi. So what this means is that I'm going to be playing a instrument. In this case, I have a electric guitar all set up here, and we are going to be running the audio from this guitar into Sonic Pi, where we can then uh, use some of the built-in effects of Sonic Pi to manipulate and add to the audio signal going into it. Um, so in order to do that, like I said, I have this guitar. Um, you could run vocals through this or any other kind of live audio feed that you wanted. Um, but just to give a little peek behind the curtain here of how this is going to work, I have a webcam set up. This is my setup here. Um, but specifically what I want to point attention to is I am using a audio interface uh, that is a USB audio interface here. So this is just a simple two-channel USB interface. And then in the back, uh, you can see there I have the guitar cable plugged in which is then plugged into the guitar that I'm holding in my hand, and then that goes to uh, a USB into uh, my laptop there. So uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go to my preferences here in Sonic Pi. And in audio, down here there is a little uh, checkbox which is going to say enable audio inputs, uh, which I am going to need to check in order for it to work. Here you see the audio hardware information, and there's nothing going in to the in channel right now. So I am going to click that, and it's going to ask me to restart. So I am going to click restart now. Sometimes Sonic Pi gets a little uh, temperamental with doing a restart like this. So I'm actually just going to swap over here and force quit. Sonic Pi just to kind of speed things up and then I'm going to reopen it. Now this is not an uncommon thing. Um, if you use Sonic Pi before you know that um, if you change any kind of like audio output for example you're going through headphones and then you want to run it through maybe a different uh, audio output then you do need to stop uh, close Sonic Pi and then restart it so it is unable to sort of switch audio output channels while it is still running. It just will go off whatever the initial audio input or uh, output is going to be. But now I have that and you'll see this is checked and now I have my in which is my Harmony H224 which is the uh, USB audio interface that I was using there but uh, you very well might even have just a built-in audio input on your laptop, which is fine, um, but I'm using this so I can hook my guitar up to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use the live underscore audio function here, and then what I need to do is just give that a name. So we can kind of jump to the language here real quick, uh, just to take a look at this in the documentation. Um, so I named audio live stream from your sound card. So essentially, uh, you're just setting the input here. So in basic usage, whatever audio is coming in, you can specify the input. Um, mine is just running directly into sort of the default input. So that should work. And there's some other options, but I'm just going to keep it real simple here. And then I'm just going to hit run. I'm going to run it. And Turn it up a little bit. So what this means is that I can now start adding some of the built-in audio effects. So say I want to add some reverb here, uh, room like that, and just this sort of do end block, and then I run it. Well, 
guitar. sure if for me that's has to do with a cable or uh, it could be a sonic pi but um that's a basic idea so it's pretty straightforward and easy to do that um and then of course i could add like a live loop um you know maybe just a bass uh and play i'm just gonna do a simple sort of ring of some notes here and then we'll say like A2 dot tick sleep one. Uh, and if I wanted to, you could do some drums here uh, to sync with that. Really you could have a whole band going here. Uh, I'm just gonna sample like a simple one. Do like a simple snare drum here. Keep it real easy. One thing this is just gonna throw me off. I'm just gonna make this four dot times do so it'll actually loop. I think I'm gonna change this to something that comes through a little better. Basically all there is to it. Sorry, my uh, lamp fell down here. Um, but that's pretty much it. So this just live audio, give it a name and make sure you've set up in your preferences to have audio input enabled and you are pretty much ready to go. So enjoy messing around with any kind of audio input you want to run into Sonic Pi.